Madam Stale Wale, Your Excellencies Vavinya Ndeti Machakos, Your Excellencies Kawira Mangaza Meru. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today is a great day for us as the women of Kenya. And really, I want to first thank Your Excellency for gracing this occasion. Being here shows how much you support the women of Kenya and how far you want them to go. For us women, when we are supported this way, we really got to take this with both hands and to make sure that this G7 that has started today and being strategy being launched today can go a long way in increasing the number of women in leadership in this country. When you work with the women, as um, Governor Sakaja has said, if you work with half in the field, half the team, you cannot achieve as much as you should achieve. So women need to be involved in every sphere of development. And I want to ask Your Excellency Anwai Guru, we are talking about increasing the numbers to 16, but may I ask that we should increase the numbers to 25, if not 47. Having women governors in the 47 counties will really help the president to go forward. And indeed, let's start looking at the government itself, making sure that whoever president will be there, we will get 50% of his cabinet or her cabinet to be women. We must not be apologetic to what we want. And we, I want to assure you, Your Excellency, by the way, if you have more women in leadership, they will help you carry a lot of the work that you are doing. They will help you. And very well indeed, you will be freer than you are today. Women, I think there is something I want to say here about politics. Something is worrying me very much. We women have seen here that we are going to make sure that we will work across political divide. All parties, we as women must come together and ensure that whatever party you are in will support you where you are. What for me has shocked me in the last few days is a new handshake, Your Excellency. And I thank you for supporting Baba to become the AU chair. But you cannot take him alone. He has many other people with him. He had many, many people with him. And I still need to understand, and I'll study this a little bit, to understand how this works amongst male leadership. Women don't do that. Uh, since I haven't known how it works, I'll continue to learn how it works. For us right now today, we must make sure we increase the number of women, we go to the grassroots, let's not leave it at the governor's level, we'll go to the grassroots level, we'll increase the number of women who are there, we'll identify them, we'll make sure that they are trained, they have got skills, we'll build confidence in them, and ensure that we know the words they are going to run, increase the number of MCS, increase the number of women members of parliament, increase the number of women governors, increase the number of all women in their places. And of course, the final seat is the presidential seat. Don't run away from it. Women want it like yesterday. So, Your Excellency, the best you can now do, and I want to ask this for the women in office and out of the office, please help these women to mobilize resources, to get to the villages, and to ensure that women can be empowered enough. I want to say that I didn't know I was going to be asked to speak, but I'm happy you have given me an opportunity to say something. Governor Sakaja, Narobi Neyako, lakini sioni wanawake vizuri hapa Narobi. Tafadhali weka wanawake tuwaone. You cannot talk about he for she, and we are not seeing it. You must walk the talk. And I'll be on your case. Your Excellency, and Anwai Guru, please, Governor.
be on the president's case and make sure that we keep him on his toes to ensure that we have the numbers. I want to thank you very much for inviting me to say a few words. Please.